talk about another subject. I got uh, topics. I got a million topics that uh, I include in my vlogs. All with the intent to add value to uh, student athletes' lives. That's the intent. Kind of help student athletes navigate through the dark times, the foggy times, the difficult times. My goal is to add value with content. So you should be able to, as a student athlete, if you're going through a situation, you should be able to, to go to my YouTube channel. It's called Well 47. I should have changed that actually, but that's what it is now. And, uh, you hear that old school outcast in the background, 95, bringing it back. But uh, you should be able to go there and get the information you need. So you know, I'll see to it that I continue to pump out content information that you can utilize, you know, forever. Very important. Uh, let me talk about real quick why I've noticed my observation, you know, along with research, on why, uh, on why, on why JUCO, when I say JUCO, that's a, you know, that's a slang for, uh, for, uh, Community college, it's slang for community college, and why and why JUCO student athletes, student athletes, after they transfer to a four year, why they don't finish. I've never seen a pizza delivery car, a 740 BMW. That's crazy. Redwood Shore, is anything possible? But let me talk about briefly. Our student, our student athletes that come from a community college after they transfer don't, don't experience success. Rule number one is that, not even a rule number one, I'll say, I'll say the reason number one, excuse my friends, uh, they're not ready, they're unprepared academically and from an athletic standpoint. It's a different level. You're not used to being in that system. Um, you're not used to all the increased demands of, of going to a of going to a four year university. You know, you're not prepared to handle everything. Because you've never been there before. Hence why uh, go ahead. Hence why uh, why mentorship is very powerful because can have someone that that can drive in front of you if you want to look at it like that metaphor they can drive in front of you and then tell you when to put you know put on the brakes go left go right go back go forward you know but to most juco guys on uh to my football you know you can apply this to every sport male or female but most juco um transfers are not prepared Second reason, second reason is that for some reason you think that your accomplishments at the JUCO make a difference, and this is a big one. This is a big one right here, and I have many more. I'm only give you two more, you know, for the sake of this uh, this video, and I'll get another one later. But there's a there's a belief that, you know, what you get at the JUCO makes a difference. And it really doesn't. You could be All-American at the JUCO level. And coaches don't care, man. You know, NCAA coaches don't care. So that from every level, Division One all the way down to NAI, and no one cares. So you could be All-American, you could be All-World, all and you get to the four-year, and if you have the attitude like I did this in my JUCO, therefore, you know, I don't need coaching because I did this in my JUCO or my JUCO did it this way. And that cripples a lot of players and I, I've watched it year after year. And, and that's a, that's a big downfall for a lot of guys because they, they get caught up in that power struggle. And, and they don't have an open mind to uh, 
to kind of go along with the coaching. And there are some times where they, they, they could be right. They could be right. But it's that ego, it's that pride that gets in the way. And um, we need to do a better job of preparing these guys for the business aspect of going to a four-year. Because if you knew that it was a business coming in, then you wouldn't, the, the things that you wouldn't take personal, you know, like no one cares about what you did at your JUCO. No one cares. It's good, you know, for yourself. I mean, that's, that's, for, that's for yourself and your family. It's for you to, you know, kind of sit there and, 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 and um, have that sense of accomplishment because it is an accomplishment if you are fortunate enough to earn a scholarship. That's an accomplishment, but at the next level, it's all about who makes plays and, and who's on the field. If you don't follow directions, you don't get in line, if you don't listen to coaches, you won't play. And you could you could really be better than the guy in front of you. Um, so that's number two. And, there's, and I mean, and I, I have a bunch. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll have different series on, on what not to do. Um, so you take those two, right? You take those two. Um, and then you take this part. You take this part. Some guys are willing to change positions. And you have to understand that when you go to a four-year, the coach is going to put you where you can help the fastest because you're not there for three years. Most likely, a few guys go to schools to where they get they get three years. Most likely, you're coming in as a JUCO transfer to play, you know, last month. I need you right now for a reason. You're feeling the need. Whenever you're feeling the need, it's immediate. So, you know, you have to make an immediate impact, be an immediate leader. So, you have two years. And, and what I've, I've, I've observed um, a number of guys go there and say, I play, I play this position, this is where I belong, and I feel them. I feel them, you know, standing by their heart and thinking that they know what's best for them. And they might know what's best for them. But when you're in someone else's system, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Not at all. They don't care. You will play what you will play. And you got to let that go. It's a power struggle that most guys don't want to do. And then they switch positions. And, um, and they, you know, they lose the love for it. They give up. They refuse to do it. And, um, and it shows. You know, so if you look at the, the big picture, and I'm going to end with this one. If you look at the big overall picture, and if you know that professional football is not in your, you know, in your destiny, then who cares what you play, man? Get on the field, you know, salve it out, go to class, earn your degree, come back to your community, help your family out, help your community out. Uh, but I'll come back with the next, the next series, the next series. Um, off the top of my head, there's like 20 reasons, you know, by working on the book, you know, 200 things not to do if you're a JUCO transfer. That's crazy, too.